Hello everyone, it's Rob here from Woodward Games. How has everyone been? Great to see everyone. I've got some new toys to play with. You see that, you know, I've got, as I mentioned before, I've actually forsaken my vows as a nun and I've escaped from the cloister so that I can be here with you to celebrate this momentous occasion. Let's have a look. And this, we've got some things there. Hello, is it the Brad Circus? Thank you for joining today. Who else we got there? Deliberate Zero, I know who you are. Ahoy there, Milado. <laughs> I hope I did that with the right, the right accent. Let's have a look. Last time I was here, you were organizing the Youth League. Oh my God, that's like three centuries ago or something like that. That was just like a long, long time ago. I hope you can hear me well. I don't have my normal headphones and everything like that. We also have the famous Angelica Brito. Hello, how's it going? Okay, so this is Blackout Rugby. It has finally launched officially, as the title says somewhere, probably. It is finally launched officially. It is now on, what is it? It's on, uh, of course, it's always been on uh, was it Steam, whatever it is, but it's now on the iOS, Apple, App Store, whatever it's called, I don't have one of those phones, you know, Apple, you want to call me, call me, and on the Android also, it's available, so that is good, and we have a look here, volume sounds good, ah, thanks for letting me know, awesome, so yes, and I'm going to show you a couple of other things here, oh, no, I don't want that one, that's ugly, let's have a look at this one here, I'll just go hide myself in the corner as I normally do. <laughs> Once I finish my streams, what I do is I just go to the corner of the room and little ball and just rock back and forward. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now. I'm just, just used to that type of stuff. So here we have, uh, what is it? Blackout rugby here. And I've got, I've got something here. Can you, actually, I'll try and show you on the big screen like this. Look at that. What, what do you think this is? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> something green what do you think that this is hi hey, that's quite cool i wonder if i can go like a pirate <laughs> okay what the hell is this thing here this is some high tech technology here all the way probably from china god knows everything's from there this is high tech pyrotechnics so in order to we're going to be celebrating the launch of the game welcome also to all of the new players it's increased a lot over these last, I don't know when it launched, about a week ago or so, not actually too sure. But I remember on the ladder it went from like eight or 900 people. Yesterday I had looked at like 5,000 people on the ladder. It's like, yes, lots of people. And that's brilliant. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a huge celebration. Uh, it's not an alcoholic one this time. <laughs> Ready, three, two, one, two, and <laughs> shit, holy. <laughs> okay, Whew, that smells where the hell did that one come from? That's, ew. Ooh, the sm that, that smell of gunpowder. As long as it's not going towards me, and in that case probably was, if I've got stuff hanging off, oh, I do, over here. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, yeah, whatever. So we're celebrating. Huzzah! Of course. <laughs> okay, there it is. Have a look at this here. Uh... Yeah, look like the Romulan pyrotechnics to me. Yes, this is like, <laughs> well, actually, talking about, yeah, this is from ancient times, the, the Romulus pyrotechnics there from the Roman times. I'm actually streaming from the future. This is the year 2300, and Blackout Rugby is finally launched. <laughs> God, it seems like it's taken a long time, but it's been worth it. We've got the Alpha. We've got the, what do you call it, the beta and everything like that. Got things all over me. Oh, I've got one of those there too. As long as I don't start pulling it out between my teeth and everything like that. Oh, the Brad Circus. Have you got your, what's the name of your team? If you're probably, you've, you watched me like when I did the Youth League like a thousand years ago. No, it was three centuries ago. Sorry. I just get my dates mixed up sometimes. Um, you've, you've got a team in Blackout Rugby, I assume. Let us know what the name is. You can even go check it out too. Anyway, if I go back to the screen here, I'll go back to my little corner. I could actually go there, but nah. Um, something cool about this thing here that I've got, I can actually have some special guests. Later on, I can interview 
or chat with or get drunk with, whatever happens, you know, things happen. Um, other blackout managers. So at the moment, we've got like the double screen here like this, or not like this, or God knows like this. We can actually have two, three, four, up to ten managers all talking about blackout rugby. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> we can do all types of things like that. So if you're ever interested in joining in the fun conversation, just let me know in the Discord eventually, and I'll show you how it works for next time. Anyway, here is what's happened since last time. Last time it was like last year that I streamed more than likely. And I was like, you know, just, just playing in the background and everything like that. But something really good is like bits of this stuff everywhere. It's over the keyboard and God knows. Well, this is just as long as it didn't go in my, my drink, it probably okay, has. No, we're right. Um, and it's like there's a bit of a lull for a while, it's a bit slow, and then we had the 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 union challenges coming again. Oh, that was so good. The union challenges coming back, and we've got the union's got things to do and talk about and crazy stuff like that. So yeah, that was that was good. Anyway, I'm so glad this has been launched officially, just getting some new blood. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> anyway. So what I'm going to do while I'm chatting, I haven't done anything today, so you can see all of my secrets and God knows what else. I've got no secrets at all here, except for our union here, which I sort of hide the, the, the general chat. Well, I can't actually do it on the screen. <laughs> oh, hey, we've got a new member. Okay, Gosford Vegetables. Oh, welcome. <laughs> Gosford Vegetables. That's a cool name. That's not, yeah, I'd choose a name like that. Anyway, I'm just going to collect all my things. I've turned the volume off on the game itself. I actually noticed there was some music. Yes, actually music. I just noticed that right now. <laughs> wasn't expecting that to go bang. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it either. I like a, I had, yeah, I wasn't expecting it either. It's that last one at least. Anyway, so I'm just going to go collect some things and we're going to see what's new. I'll probably remember what new things are coming through. And we have some questions too. One second. Um, let me have a look. Have a look at this here. What's the best thing to spend? Okay, these questions, if you have any questions, just leave them in the Discord or you can leave them here while we're live in the, in the chat. And I can talk, I could give my point of view because my view is not always correct. Most of the time it's not correct, but... If I don't know the answer, I will invent it. I do that. I wing things so much. You have no idea. Oh, coming to think, thinking of winging it. Have I been dethroned from? No. <laughs> but I, I'm just going to act casual and relax. Just like, let's just look at the world global <clears throat> ladder of the best teams in the world of blackout rugby. And let's go. Oh, look at that. Look at number one. Woodward Games. <laughs> I tried to act as natural as possible. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't expect that. Oh, it's like at the Oscar. Thank, thank you for, thank you. For, I'd like to thank my hairdresser. I, uh, yeah, I do actually have hair. It's not just all baldness. I do have long hair. I like to thank my hairdresser and my wife and the, probably the kids too. Otherwise, they'll probably kill me in my sleep. Actually, I want to go look at the last, load last ranks. How many, ooh, look at, look at this, look at this. This is so much fun. Yesterday I had a look, there was 5,300, no, 5,000. And in like 24 hours, an extra 400. Oh, Los Lobos, look at that one, from Spain. I knew it, I knew it. This is just so cool having all of these people. Load higher ranks. Now, sup, sup. Is it multiple accounts? Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um, usually I don't pay that much attention to the ladder except at the end of the season, which is not the end of the season. But I usually use the ladder for training my youth. And my youth are just, oh, they're just so good now. Look, they just got to number one just naturally. I mean, <laughs> to get to number one, you have to use your first team definitely my youth one anyway so what i use the ladder for mainly I've, I've got another team here still got the name woodward saints i've got two teams now remember i had about 
I had four teams. I'm down to two teams now. Uh, Woodward Games and Woodward Saints. And I, this one's based in Chile. Hey. And Woodward Saints basically is, is number, what was it, 28 in the world. And that one we started, if you check through the VOD, the video on demand for your old people, which most of you guys are, <laughs> for the... Uh, on the on the video on demand and YouTube, you'll see when I created Woodward, uh, Woodward Saints, and there was like a group of us. We started, at, everyone started at the same level, and it was good to see them all growing together and competing together and everything like that. And now it's level 30, so that shows you how long I haven't streamed. <laughs> no, I did stream when it was like level 12, 15, 20, I don't know, around there. Anyway, I'll give you an example. This is Woodward Saints, and this is what I do. I'll click my stuff, and one of the first, ooh, increase the player's natural weight. Now, normally, there's for me, there's nothing really interesting here, but here I've got a meat pie, and I love me a meat pie. And this one here, increase the player's natural weight up to five kilos. Hell, I'm going to use that. You have no idea. If I don't use it immediately, I, I tend to forget. I tend to forget and... So I'll go immediately to the squad, and then we're going to go have a look, squad training. What you do, get a lineup, default, and you just go to weight, and you see who's the heaviest. Now, the maximum weight is 140 kilos. I remember I had a player that was 155 kilos. We just fed him full of meat pies. That's another video I have. Go check it out. But now there's a limit of 140 kilos because they were just starting to roll around the field. It was a bit sad, actually, but they, they did well. So I've got a five kilo one. My starting lined up, lineup, who's this one? Geronimo. Um, is there anyone else like really low down here, maybe? So what I do is I check my starting lineup. So, ooh, he's, a, he's a, like a number eight. How about this one here? He's 32 years old. I wouldn't waste it on him because... He's going to be off my main team in about a year or two, so I wouldn't waste it on that. So what I do is I go look for one of these young players. No, he's 29. God, I've got these old dudes. Okay, they're younger than me, but uh, Bautista, I've already looked at that one. Shows how good I am at remembering things. 25, he's sort of a lock. I'm just going to give it to him because why do I do that? I like my forwards, my you know, my scrum and everything like that. I've got them maxed out. I like to feed them pies and make them as heavy because I think personally, as again, we're just guessing. Um, yeah, I just think it does well. And also when you're coming into contact with other players, if you've got like a skinny a skinny 100 kg guys and coming up against a 135 kilo guy, who do you think is going to win a bash of heads? It's going to be like, <laughs> okay, if you're 100 kilos, probably not skinny, but. Compared to the other players, you probably look like a yeah, like a toothpick or something. Anyway, that's what I do. Otherwise, I'll just forget. So he's now like a, a healthy 135 kilos. Uh, let's go have a look at this one here. Let's just say that I personally tested the music mute seating. Yeah, see, I've done that one too. Thank you for that, the bread circus. Let's have a look at this here. Last time I looked at the bottom of the ladder, I remember there being 2,700 clubs. That was either a long time ago or recently. The tale of the Holy Scrimunion, yes. And we were all, all of us, we're talking about the youth team. We all started together in a youth team and we had a, like a separate union just for our young guys. And went really well and everything like that. And then like just people started dropping off and probably not playing or doing whatever and distracted. So I just brought Woodward Saints into the best. The, it, no. It is the best. I've got to prove a point here since you're insisting. Okay, so if we go to join, if you want to join a if you want to join a union, they usually cost like about 30 tokens or so. But we've got a special deal only for today. If you do it in the next 24 hours, not only will you get one joining to our union, you also get a set of Ginshu 2000 knives, or it should be 2100 knives. Oh, God, no, it's 3000. You know. So if you go here, we can check out the levels. Um, let's go check how many teams are over level 20. You just go search for them. Oh, look at that. The Unicorn Hookers. Yes, that is the name of our union. Why? 
because for some reason, I don't know why, but just for some reason, there's always unicorn appears in the conversations or something like that because unicorns are normally associated with the most, they're not masculine. Rugby is usually like a masculine, rah, buff type um, um, game. The ladies, when they play, especially like the New Zealand rugby team, oh, God, the women, they're, they're amazing. But in general, there's this a view that it's like that. But we put unicorn in there just because there's always been like stupid jokes and things and something about unicorns. And hookers because hook is because there is a feared position, number two, that is in a rugby match. And that position, you have the props, one, two, three. And the middle one is the hooker, the person that throws the ball into Just so you know, it's not any other type of stripper ball hook or anything like that. Just making things clear if you wonder where it comes anyway this is evidence at the moment we are level 25 there's no other team better than us at the moment which is probably going to get we're going to get dealt to probably anyway <laughs> in the league competition there's going to be a competition between all of the the league uh, not the leagues the unions coming up this is a new feature it's like oh how cool is that how cool is that it's just like our union, the Unorgorn hookers versus the barbarians is going to be a classic. You got the price. Some of them don't have many members or anything like that, but doesn't matter. You don't need many members. You just have to have the best players. Yes. Anyway, going after proving my point about which union is the best in the world. Yes, we are accepting uh, new teams too. If you have any questions about the game or ever, jump in, join in, feel free to ask any questions at all. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Uh, medical. What are, this is what I was going for. Flip all the cards. This was a nice, what was it? Quality of life edition, the button down here. You don't have to click every single one. Um, I do this is the second thing I do so that I can get the ladder, ladder pack. Because why do I do that? I'm ignoring all of these other things here. Um, what I'll do is, uh, oh, I'll answer that question in a second. Um, is I go immediately to the competition. I go to, oh, this is the league. Got some games coming up. I'm, I'm top of the league in this one. Lynx. Ooh, it's, oh, it's going to be hard. Anyway, that's the gonna, hopefully the final. Lynx will make it to final. I hopefully do. Anyway, uh, going to the ladder. So you go to the ladder here. And what I, I just choose the guy above me. Challenge, make sure you click this so that you use your free. If you don't have one of these free med packs, we'll just chuck it down here, um, you will get charged three tokens. And you can get these free every day. You can get them many different ways, but you can get one via, the, we'll go have a look at the moment, like one of the buildings, the health building or something like that. So what I do, what does this do? The ladder med packs protect your squad from injury so they can have their arm ripped off out of their socket and they just start throwing it around like a Mexican wave around the pitch and it comes back on the field. Next day, he puts it back in and he's playing the match. It is awesome. That's why I love these med pack cards. <laughs> anyway, let's go. So I click this. I don't know. It's whatever team. I don't care. It's like the one that's above me. And I don't use my first 15. I specifically have a team, <laughs> not backs forward. That's where I got my backs in the forwards positions and the forwards in the back positions, but vice versa. Anyway, I always use my youth team. Why do I do this? Um, scrum up. Um, what do I want to do? I actually want to use this one here, expensive pure. What is that? Um, the reason it's just I'm just using pure expensive at the moment for these because of a ladder challenge in the union where we need to do passes or something like that. That's the reason I'm using a lot of expensive pure at the moment. For me. Honestly, I don't care about the results of the ladder league um, because it doesn't really matter at all. It's not like, oh, you go, you, you go up and down the ladder. It doesn't matter at all. But hang on. If we go back, I'm just going to go check something out. One of the questions, I'll, ask, I'll answer this one about what's the best thing to spend tokens on. Ooh. Um, let's go. There's actually a question here. I type. Ooh, there it is. What magics contribute to experience and leadership game? Okay, so basically, from what I remember, eh, from three years ago and the other game, no, 
uh, what I remember is you get the 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 experience and leadership basically from real matches, which are the league matches, the cup matches, and ladder matches. So what I do is I put my since my youth cannot be um, I've already set that up since I can't. Uh, my youth are not at a high enough level to be in my first 15. Basically, your first 15 is the team that's always getting all of the, sorry, extra experience, extra practice or whatever it is, and their experience increases. But if you've got some new players, youth, and they're not playing any games, they're getting no experience on the field. So where do you get that experience? Here in the ladder matches. That's why I always use the youth in the ladder matches, except for when I'm like floating near the top. Once a season, I try and get number one. Try, sometimes. Last couple of seasons, basically. <laughs> but normally it's like, whatever, I just use it as a training experience. Now, the good thing is, with the league, you can only have one. With the league, there's only like one, sometimes two a day, but normally one a day. So you can only get experience. There was my stomach making a sound. That was weird. Um you can get, only get experience from the league matches, but it's only once a day. So how are you going to get the more training? Cup matches at the beginning of the season. If you last, you might get a, some experience in every game. The other way is with the ladder matches. Friendly matches do not – you don't get it. It's just for fun. Let them, uh, this is the, the friendly matches are for fun. They have no value. It's just like whatever. It's just, yeah, whatever. They're just for fun. Um, or if you want to try a tactic, maybe, or see how something works, you could use the friendlies, but you don't gain anything from them. But from the ladder matches, yes. So what I do is, um, if we go to, ah, I missed how many cards I had remaining. Anyway, let's go to the ladder, and it doesn't matter what happens here, I will challenge the guy above me, and the next one, and one by one, because sometimes I accidentally win. So when I accidentally win, it's like, oh, okay. I'll just do the next one. And I just hope people beat me so I go down the, the, the ladder a little. And that's what I do. One of the first things I do, I do a ladder challenge for one of my youth. And I try and do as many ladder matches as possible during the day for my teams because it is very important. If we go have a look over here, um, let's go look at some of the experience of some of these guys. So for example, look at this one here. He's hardened. <laughs> yes okay i've got this 25 year old player <laughs> he is hardened <laughs> i only just realized what that means saying it live anyway you've got different levels of experience of the players you've got green <laughs> an experience limited regular <laughs> Oh, God, you guys, oh, behave, behave. Okay, you got regular experience, veteran, season. <laughs> He's like getting cooked or something. You're putting salt or something on him. Extra paprika on him, no. And you got hardened, and then you got warhorse and legendary. And basically, how do they go up levels? It depends on the number of players. Like, he's hardened. And why is he hardened? <laughs> he's played 542 matches and 45 thousand minutes on the field now if you have a youth player and your youth player doesn't if your youth player doesn't get any matches their what do you call it their their experience is going to be crap so it's like that's why it's important to put your youth team in games if in your league for example what i will do in the competition here um one of these ones here like mistaken uh oh that is a real person crazy this is like a okay this is like one of the devs team which means they don't play it at all basically um so i know with some of these teams i can usually use my youth team instead of my first 15 in ladder matches and in league matches so they get just a little bit more experience too i can't remember what the difference is between how much experience you get versus a league match versus a ladder match versus a cup match. It's somewhere probably on the, was it the wiki, whatever it is that they have? Um, yeah, I don't know it off the top of my head. So I'll often 
use, for example, if we go to some of my fixtures, like you see the number of ladder matches I've done? <laughs> this low old matches, bad moons. This looks like one. I know it looks like, and that's a real person. Okay, it's, ugh, it's gonna take me a while. This is how many ladder matches I do. So like, so this is probably the weekend. And I just like, oh yeah, I'll do that. Okay, who's this one? Yes, I'm that Jack. Suspicious. <laughs> so he was like low in the in the league table. So what I did for this match here, I would have used. Oh shit! I used my first fifteen. Okay, that's probably because I did use my first fifteen because I had a default tactic, which is scrum up, which is a real terrible tactic to have as a default. Why do I do that? So I didn't actually change this when I should have. Normally, I would use my youth for this game and a different tactic because my scrum up is. Something that I was trying before, where for every penalty, there was only a scrum. And why? Because, again, trying to achieve some type of um, achievement for the union challenge, whatever it is. You know, complete 500 scrum turnovers in whatever. So I'd do this, scrum up. And up, scrum up is also the one I use where there's a kicking challenge where I need to complete... 1,000 meters of kicking, so I just scrum up because it's like up and under or something like that. So this tactic is actually one of the worst tactics to have. <laughs> and I used it, so basically I didn't change the tactic. So that was a terrible example to show. <laughs> anyway, let's go back. No, there's another real person mistaken. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, youth and expansive pure. That's what I used. So it's good there just so they get experience, and that's how you get it. Um, I'm learning a lot from you. This is pretty interesting time. I'm glad I'm, I'm being useful. I'm usually on no use whatsoever. <laughs> I just have a lot of fun streaming. I'm so glad you're finding some of these things. If you have any questions about anything, Delibra Zero, he's the master. He knows everything. <laughs> I just, as I always, I just wing it. I wing it the whole time. Anyway, so also, oh, here we go. Also, you can untick both options and go, don't do this, and go without a ladder med pack. That way you risk injury. So if you don't, for example, if we go back to, let's go, uh, let's go to Woodward Games. And we go to the ladder. And I'm going to do, okay, this is what I do. And I'm just going to go get one of my things. Uh, one second. Um, flip this because I want this med pack. And it, this is where you find them. In the medical, if you go to the tech tree, um, uh, daily med, ah, this one here. This is one of the first things you should, or you could get, or one of the first things to get when you upgrade your medical tech tree, the daily ladder med pack. A new medical manufacturer sends you some awesome dry, no, um, supplies to increase their brand awareness. <laughs> Viagra, here's to you. Thank you. Receive one free ladder <laughs> med pack each day. And that's what you get. So every day you get one. So you can do at least one letter. Uh, was it? Letter. Letter. Letter game every day, free and everything like that. And there's no risk of injury. There's no risk of injury. So it's just like, yeah. So, and that's good. <laughs> Otherwise, if the arm gets pulled out of the socket and goes around the stadium, next day they won't be able to put it back in there. You know. So that's one of the first things I would do with a new team here. I probably need to do one of those starting a new team things video because there's lots of new things coming up. Uh, probably. I'll, I'll think about it. Anyway, so that's so you get the... At medical energy boost and the medical, the daily ladder med pack. Those are good things to start with. I'll begin with those two. I don't know if you can do two at once at the same time. Um, yeah, because as I was saying, I'm going to go to the competition. We're going to, yes, there's Dar this Phil from Darren Belmont. An okay team, an okay team. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the he's in the, he's he's one of the union was it the unicorn hookers so he must be an awesome team it, it, yes we just wind each other up anyway um so if we go to the ladder and i'm at the top of the ladder and i've got no one to challenge above me oh, again again <laughs> so what i always do is i go challenge 
whoever's number 10. And now look at this. I could uncheck this. <gasps> Ooh, I don't, I please don't accidentally click accept because there's like a final match coming tomorrow or sometime. <laughs> anyway, if none of these are as uh, deliberate zero has says, said, if you've got nothing clicked, you get an injury in that match. It's permanent, like for life. No, not permanent for life, but like as a normal injury might take four or five days to heal or something like that. But you have two options. You can either buy a med pack for three tokens. You've got tokens. I've got a few tokens up the top there. Or you can, and these here, I've got shitloads of tokens, not because I bought any. There's different things. You just can get lots of tokens throughout the game. If you just, especially if you've been around for a long time, you've got nothing to spend, not so many things to spend them on. Anyway, so you've got the buy the med pack, which I never do. I've never done that because this is three tokens. And since I've been asked what to spend the tokens on with the other question, and I'll just go here first. Oh, shit, what can I do? Here it is. I'll use that. And now this is ticked. I can spend the med pack, which is free. It's free if you have that accepted in your medical, whatever that thing is called. But if you don't have any ticks, you're going to be screwed if you get an injury. Anyway, I'm just going to go and immediately change it to youth and worst tactic ever. Here you go. That's fine. Ah, no, I need a challenge. Expensive. I'm just going to go expensive because I need it for the union challenge that we have right now. We've got like 30,000 passes. And like I find if you're doing the expensive, you get lots of passes usually. You know, because if you do pick and go, it goes to one person. If you do it expensive, it goes to one, two, three, four, sometimes more. That's why I do that. But again, youth. I don't care about the result. I'll probably get my ass whipped here. Doesn't matter. My youth are getting trained. But with those tokens, if you go up to the token thing here, let's go. I've got like shitloads. Um, <clears throat> if you click on this, and you can buy tokens there. You've got subscriptions too. Go to the cards. Go to the cards here. This is where you want to blow your salary. I know, blow all of your tokens on cards. This is what I do. Normally, what I do is, for example, if we go to Woodward Saints, um, I've got 220. I'm saving up. You know, I'm just saving them up because I'm saving up if I go to the card. Oh, you could use them for customizations. You got some, what do you call it? You got some shields and things like that. I've I've, I've already got an awesome shield somewhere. So you got these shields. You can spend them on. These are just cosmetic things, and it's good that you've got these cosmetic things that you can change. Oh, green, pretty. I like that one. You know, um, you can go through and change all of these things. Wow, there's lots of them. Wow. Oh, you got some print. I haven't seen anyone with one of these yet. I could actually get it with my other team, but. I need premium first to get it. It's like one of those special exclusive things. Anyway, um, but I, I'm not using it for that. I would use your tokens on cards. Cards. These are the things that you can make a difference. And especially what I do is I spend them on, for example, training cards. Because training, you know, your own team, players, whatever, with using cards, epic cards, that's what you want at this level, especially. And when you're at level 30, you probably want to train them every single time with, uh, what do you call them, epic cards and things like that. So here, I'll just, when I get to 200, I know, yeah, I could get that now, but, ooh, either got 12 cards, 12 epics, or 30 epics. Oh, I want 30 epics. And there's more of a chance that the, Card is epic 6% versus 7. So I just wait. I'm a very patient person. I learned that when I was at the Nun's Cloister. Anyway, um, so 300, I'm going to wait for this team to get 300. And then I'll buy probably a training pack or something like that. Actually, if I go to Woodward Games, I can show you. Right. So what happens with the tokens? Go to the cards. And you can, you've got the tactics, which... I don't buy. You can buy them because there's loads of, loads of, uh, yeah, you can do that. But I've already got shitloads anyway, so I don't need them. Oh, and there's a question here. Deliberate Zero is the master. I should get to know him someday. <sighs> oh, God. 
Uh, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> He's a lovely person. <laughs> Deliberate Zero is his his YouTube name. I'm not that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> nah, it's good. It always participates and everything like that. Much appreciated. And and also, just so you know, he's one of the devs of the game behind the scenes doing God, I don't know, I know what he does. I have no idea. But anyway, he's there. Um <laughs> maybe it would have been finished a year earlier if oh, sorry, no. <laughs> this is what to expect. If you come onto a live stream and you're in the chat, just get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Blink a normal amount if you're being held hostage. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yet. Anyway, um, so what was I saying before? I was rudely interrupted uh, by myself. You yeah, so I don't use them for tactics much. Contracts. Um, usually, I've got enough of those. I'd mostly use them for training. Sometimes health too. And this is where you can get some more um, ladder med pack decks. You know, for the ladder challenges. Um, you can use 25, remember they're normally three tokens each, but if you buy a pack of 10, it only works out at 2.5 tokens each one, each match. So I usually just click on that. Are you sure you're purchasing for one of the games? Yep, of course I am. Uh, yep, and then this is what appears. You just get like 10 of them done. Okay, so I've got an extra 10 of these for any ladder matches. Okay, but what I do... If you want just the health cards, just click on health, and these will appear. If you want health and training, health and training. Sometimes I get the academy ones too. Those are good, probably not at the beginning to use as much, but definitely when you're getting higher levels in the, with your academy and training your youth, which is you should do. I highly recommend training your own youth instead of buying on the market. You can buy on the market, but train your own, um, definitely. I, I would. This is one of the other things I buy. And weight, probably not so much now because there's a goddamn limit of 140 kilos. Or they didn't let me get to 200. I was on the way. I was on the. I ran out of cards, and then it's like this. I, I saw the video in in the in the developers' room. There's these cameras, and they're like, "Stop him before he gets it to 200 kilos. It hasn't been factored into the match engine." So they limited it to 140. May or may not be true. Anyway. Um, so what do we got here? Um, so yeah, so sometimes I use the weight, not much now because I usually have enough just from day-to-day -day activities. And wild card. Ooh, should I do a wild card to see what happens? Okay, so I've got 300 tokens. I'm gonna spend on a wild card card deck and this 40 guaranteed epics. Oh, let's go see what happens when you do this. <clears throat> I've got some contract cards, academy, a league, oh, a one, a one energy one. Oh, you know, uh, what else we got? Anything interesting? League, skill boosters, oh, an epic defense against creative attacks. Not many people use a creative, so it's a bit of a like, oh, uh, ooh, a groin injury. I definitely need that for the game. 35% recovery for upper leg injuries. <laughs> <gasps> I got a pie. Sweet. Um, contract cards come in useful. Academy. Oh, Academy card. Epic. Center. Yes. That's a good one. Anyway, so you can just, yeah, I'm not even going to bother looking. If you want to do this slowly later, you can watch this. Ah, <gasps> expensive success distance of expensive attacks. Nice. Arm injuries. I, I mean, to recover from arm injuries. Not getting arm injuries. It's recovering from the arm injuries. Um, ooh, decrease player aggression. Stop them being so violent. Wow. Be less people getting their arms ripped out of the socket like Wookiees. Okay. Um, arm injuries. Yeah, so probably I've got loads of cards here. Whoa, look, I just, shit, there's loads here. This is quite interesting. I should do that more. Wow, I've never actually clicked on this before. There's shit loads. Lots of random ones, but still some good ones like Academy. Hooker, lock. Oh, I gotta do this more. Hey, let's go blow 2000, shall we? Ha! No, I'm not gonna do it now. I might need it for God knows what. 
Anyway, so I would use your tokens on cards. And sometimes what I do is go to Woodward Saints. I've got this one here. No, we're not watching the live match. It's just a ladder match <clears throat> with a terrible tactic. Um, you can also use the tokens for upgrading or finishing the construction of buildings. Like Woodward Games, all I'm maxed out in all of the buildings and everything like that. So I don't actually need it. I don't, yeah, I don't need it. So, but with this one here, Woodward Saints is still, because I, I, I always blow all of my money. It's quite terrible. Um, so if I want, I could use 139 tokens to finish this immediately. But I'm not going to do it now because it's day 24. And then four or five, no, in five days, we're going to get the, the cash income and everything like that from next season. Because if I finish it now, I won't be able to construct anything else. So it's like, might as well just leave it waiting. Because over the days, that amount gets less and less. But sometimes, like with Woodward Saints, in the first month, I use tokens quite a bit just to speed up the process with a new team of upgrading the different buildings, like the Pirate Cove. Oh, no, they still haven't implemented the Pirate Cove. Okay, like the hotel, the academy, the buildings and things that you need, like training, academy. I'll spend tokens, my first tokens on that just to increase the level. And at the same time, I don't spend so much on cards with my first teams because it doesn't really matter at the beginning because everyone's got like really shitty teams and like not very good or anything like that. So, yeah. <clears throat> Um, so going back here, um, what, what have we got here? Honestly, it's great to hear Rob explain things because I know he's getting, he's always going to be right. <laughs> Little do you know. Is, have I got, he got something like, um, yeah, I don't know if you can hear that. But anyway, it's a crowd clapping. I haven't got my headphones on. <laughs> um, again, I still haven't done anything for the day. Let's have a look at this. <clears throat> That's why we only give you a few million bucks per month so you can't spend it all. I know. I'll, I'll just blow it all within the first hour, probably. <laughs> Buying things I just really don't need. And that's what makes the game also interesting because you've got limited a limited amount of money. <clears throat> and this is what makes it – it's not a like a pay-to-win game at all because everyone has the limited amount of money. You can – buy tokens but it doesn't influence the game you could buy some cards and things like that or a speed up process but the money is the thing that you need to upgrade your buildings and that's like of this team's been around for one year eight months because we started like january last year i think and i still my stadium's at level 15 and i, I just gotta wait because not because i haven't got tokens to complete it it's because i don't have the money i go blow it all on rum or something like that Anyway, uh, let's go have a look here. Sorry, construction of the Pirate Cove is to be kept off the book. Slow things down a bit. Damn, okay. We're going to end the screen stream now. Thank you, everyone, for coming. And we're just going to leave it like that. So let's have a look. Um, so that was – see, so you can get experience and lead it. Now, leadership, most of the leadership depends on the person who is the captain – of <clears throat> captain of a match like i've got lavin matthias lavin um this dude here he is a war horse he's just about legendary he's a war horse but he's old 31 ish um he's a war horse and how he, look at his leadership is 63 which is quite good because there's a limit of like 50 like naturally or something or 49 50 51 ish Depends on their starting attributes or whatever those are called. Um, I could use a psych card to upgrade it, maybe. No, I can't because Woodward Saints doesn't have it. <laughs> I could do that. <clears throat> um, but since he's the captain, he, his experience is going to increase more than everyone else. Whoever's the captain is the one whose um, leadership, sorry, not experience, leadership is going to increase more than everyone else's. So what you normally do is I've got – this is my first 15, these guys, and he's the captain. He's always going to be the captain, but he's getting old. But I already have a replacement coming up in my youth, which is this guy here. He's already – he's only 21. He's already seasoned. He hasn't even been in my main squad from memory because he's only 
level 63. He's not very high level. So since he's only level 63, I can't really put him in my main squad. He's only 21. He's seasoned already. That's like awesome. So when he's ready, when he increases a bit more, because for me, these his strength and his power and endurance is low for my first team. He's 140, 140 kilos there. Um, but I'm trying to increase his leadership because he's going to replace the one that I already have. And why have I got this seasoned, 21-year-old seasoned? Because, uh, no, this one here. Um, he's played 370 matches. And these are pretty much competitive matches. Three, oh, yeah, 370 competitive matches. That's the difference, competitive versus friendlies. And he's played 30,900 minutes. Is there any other stat here that talks about uh, blah, blah, blah? No, okay, whatever. <clears throat> um, oh, you can do it by season too. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, hang on. No, whatever. Like, for example, this season, he's had – oh, shit, got to go all the way up the top again. He's played 87 matches. So he's played like about three a day, 24 days, three or four, just about four a day, every single day. And none of them are leagues. They're basically ladder matches. I just, on the weekend, I'll just pump them up, pump them up. Um, question. Does it take long to get them up to Warhorse Legendary? Okay, for example, this person, this is my youth dude, Nahuel Villalobos, which is Village Wolves. Ah, Spanish for Village Wolves. Anyway, um, so he's... This season, he's played 87 matches, and these are ladder matches. So in that time, he's had 7,447 minutes of game play. He's been playing for that amount of time. Sometimes he could be injured. Sometimes he can go an extra time, but that's about it. But just think, every match is approximately 80 minutes. And once they – I actually did an Excel somewhere. What I need to do is actually publish it so everyone can have a look. I think. Oh, shit, I don't even know where I left it. I got it somewhere. Anyway, like when you get to 10,000, it goes up a level. When you get 5,000, it goes up a level. Let me have a look. Um, seasons. Let's go to some uh, limited. Oh, he hasn't. Oh, he's only 18 years old. He is limited. He's already up to that level because he has played approximately 57 matches. He's had 4,900 matches. When he gets to 5,000, I think from memory, from 5,000, he goes from limited to regular, or it could be 10,000. But, you know, there's certain, at the beginning, it's like after 1,000, 2,500 or something like that. And then after that, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 minutes it takes. And for me, experience is very, very, very important in the match. It makes a difference having some guy that has no idea what he's doing on the pitch, like, oh, what do I do with the ball? And the other guy, he's like legendary. He's like, he's the master. He can just like, I know exactly what to do with the ball. And then you got the hardened guy. He, no, no. Anyway, so yeah, that's why um, I always recommend give your youth as much training as possible, as in ladder matches, any matches, basically, except for friendlies, which are not worth anything. But for example, this is, okay, I don't, I've, got a, I've got a legendary player in Woodward Games. This player here, oops, is legendary. No. Where is he? Okay, if I go to the lineup, this player is legendary. Ah, oh, I actually run out of, ah, oh, here he is. Gavin Stoner, the stoner. Hey, deliver zero. I've still got the stoner here. He's now 57 years old. He's about to be 58 years old. I want to see if he gets to 100. And I'm going to have a 100-year-old player playing in a rugby match. <laughs> His speed and acceleration and everything. And after that, then uh, he's, he can go into retirement, but not until he's 100 years old. He has to be 100 years old. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> Yeah, I do things like this. Anyway, he's probably he is the oldest player at the moment. I'm pretty I'm pretty guaranteed, sure I can guarantee he's the oldest player active. 
<laughs> he looks familiar. All of my players look like him. Yeah, he's got the 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 or the orno <laughs> mustache and <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> He's the stoner, man. He's like straight out of the 70s. He, he's like, yeah. Now, um, yeah, what, what are we talking about? Going back to, ah, I was looking for a legendary player. He He's a legendary. Uh, his experience isn't legendary, but he is legendary. He was the best player in the universe of, of oh, look, there's Warhorse legendary. Okay, this is it. This guy's a Tu Vaka. Uh, that means like you, vaca. Well, with a C, it means cow. You cow. You cow. <laughs> anyway, um, if we look at his stats, he is, what is it? He's a war horse. And, oh, shit, I want all time. There it is. He's had, he played 60,000 minutes. He's played 770 matches. And I didn't train him as a youth much either. Or I could have him sometimes in my youth team. Not too sure. Because he's a star player. I sometimes put my star players with my youth just to make sure they get excessive amounts of gameplay. Anyway, 770. So he would have just turned to Warhorse level at 60,000. And the other guy, Tomochi, look at this dude, man. He is legendary. He's old too. He's legendary. He's, he's going to go soon. <sighs> anyway. <clears throat> He's played 1,115 games. I kept him in the youth team until basically now. And the thing is, I wasn't doing all of these ladder matches like about three, four months ago at all, ever. So, yeah. Um, so he's played night. Oh, I wonder if I can get him to 100,000 minutes played. That would be iconic. Anyway, we'll see. But, yeah, so he's played 90. So maybe legendary is like 80,000. And above, not too sure, not too sure. I did do a, oh, here's another hardened one. How many, how much has he played? So it all depends on how many games they've played, basically. Seasons, so, got, so you notice a lot of my team, they're like legendary, seasons, hardened, warhorse, legendary. Oh, it's, it's the same legendary. I just, oh, no, he's legendary too. Look at this guy. In this, he's my wing. So we go here. He's only had so legendary is probably from eighty thousand. Yeah, so he's had nine hundred and seventy six matches. So give them as many. What do you call it? Give them as many matches as possible, because that's what you want. Because it makes a difference on the field. It's probably one of the reasons why my team at the moment is doing okay. Okay, that match is live. Should we go see what's happening. Let's see if it starts all right. Sometimes when you start after it, it gets a little bit crazy. We'll see. Oh, I like what's happened with uh, the smaller shirts. Before, if you look at some of my older vid videos, okay, I only lost that with my youth, 21, 22. It doesn't mean my youth is, are good. It just means Lamington's probably has a youth too as their defensive team. So it's like, yeah. And it doesn't matter because a lot of the teams, if you're climbing easily up the ladder, it's just often because most people put their youth team as their defensive team just so that they can drop down and get more games they can play above them. Because you can only play like up to 50% of the teams above you. But once you get near the top, you got like, if you're a top 20, you can only do 10 matches a day. Okay. That which is plenty. But for some people, they go crazy. So claim the rewards. Open that up. And I didn't use any cards or anything like that. And what am I going to do? Guess what? That's right. Um, we go do another one. Uh, comps. And uh, go to the ladder. And immediately. No, I'm still there. Oh, Waikato is going to come up there. He's going to beat Santo. And he'll probably, he can probably take me out without too much of a problem. Okay, Silver Fern. Oscar. He's from Spain from memory. Um, so what do you do? Go to Silver Fern. Doing well, number nine. Impressive. I don't want to, I don't, I'm not going to buy a med pack. I just click here. Now, I don't have a daily one. You only get one a day if you have it available in your medical thingy. Go here. I just 
use one of the ones I bought with tokens. This is what you, I use tokens for a lot. Oh, Oscar is lurking in the background. Now he's highlighted. <laughs> so everyone can see. Hey, Oscar, how's it going? Saludos. <laughs> um that was spanish for um may all your ups and downs be in bed no it means hello or something like that um what am i doing ready okay let's go look at this terrible team called silver fern by who's this random manager oh, there he is. <laughs> antarctica you've chosen antarctica they've, they've got a rugby <laughs> rugby pitch <there. sighs> oh. buenos dias there's them Nuevas, no, yeah, Buenas noches desde Nueva Zelanda. Good evening from New Zealand. Um, yeah. So, oh, should I just challenge, didn't I? Did I do it or not? No. And let's go to fixtures. No, I didn't accept it. Oh, shit, that was a friendly. Oh, no, that was another one. <laughs> I've actually got a friendly coming up against Silver. Cool, when's that? Okay, three. Okay, um, three hours. Uh, no, I want to go to the ladder, and I didn't actually accept it. That's pretty cool. Num ninth in the world is quite impressive. Okay, so I'll go here, do it, let's go, and did I click it? Okay, here it is. And as always, for me, priority is not my first 15, it's the youth. And I'm just going to go... Let's try worst tactic at scrumming up. No, I need, I'll go scrumming up. No, let's just do a, a like a boring tactic. So worst tactic ever. Let's do that one. You can probably watch it too. See what happens. Go look at, at the design and what's happening in the game and everything like that. If I remember, I tend to forget things. In Antarctica, I'm easily the best. How many teams are in Antarctica? You can probably find out somewhere. But yeah, <laughs> but I heard the, the 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 Southern Seals are a tough team to beat. <laughs> okay, so that's happening sometimes too, and that's what I do. And that's one of the things that are a little bit difficult about being at the top of the ladder because you have less people to challenge. Because I can challenge like seven or eight people or something like that, which for me is enough anyway. But if you like seriously want to increase the experience of your teams, just, just, yeah, you probably just want to hang around down the lower levels like my other team. Okay, so we have, um, let's go have a look. Um, so we've already answered that question. What matches contribute to experience leadership scan? And if we go to, I've already sent it, spend the tokens on cards and everything like that. And here, uh, Let's go have a look at this one here. Uh, that one there, that one there. Okay, here's another one. <clears throat> here's another question from the Discord, which is, I need something to drink, actually. Most team management type games are largely money management games. Hmm. I can see that, yeah. Probably not so much in rug. This game here, it's not so much money management because it's like, yeah, it's more focused on the game itself. Yeah. So what is the best and fastest way to build a strong economy? Okay, the different ways you can get money in the game. You go, for example, uh, in the hotel is one of the places. Um, basically from cash, base cash income. And when I'm starting out, I usually do pick some of these ones here, like the token and the cash. I, don't, I ignore these ones at the beginning because don't need them when you're a young team, the epic card. Like this gives you a one in 28 chance of an epic one at the beginning. And it, when you've got a young team and everything like that, the teams are like all shit. So you don't really need epic cards and things like that to win games and things. I would focus more the first years on creating awesome teams. But this is one of the areas that you can increase your income. Um, generates $500 multiplied by half your club level rounded up per day. So you can get like $500 or $1,000 or like level 30. You got like 15,000 by 500. Yeah, it's like about seven. You get lots of money. Work it out. It's too late for me. 
Um, but then you can increase it every time, it generates an additional. So you've got 1,000, 1,500. So the more that you increase this, this it gets to a point where 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you've got like about 5,000 by 15, then you've got like 75,000 a day. Simple as that, but that's when you're level 30. So this is one of the areas that you can get the cash. Another area where you get cash is actually from the uh, from playing matches, uh, specifically league matches and cup matches and ladder matches too. But with the ladder matches, the amount that you win every time halves. So it gets less and less. So it's to avoid people just doing like a thousand matches to get shitloads of money in one day, no, because you get half, like first day I might get a thousand, or first match, next one 500, then 250, 125, etc. and it goes down and down. Another way with your stadium here, if you go to your stadium, you probably want to increase the level of your stadium, your, uh, how can I see that, I'm not too sure how I can see it, um, if I click that, where does it go, okay, it goes here, Okay, that's good to know. First time I've done that in like about three years. <laughs> um, so if you increase the the size, that's it. You increase the size of your stadium, you get more bums on seats, which means more paying, paying people. You know, you get more people paying or buying hot dogs or God knows what. Or and another way to increase the amount of money you get is from the amenities. For example, merch shop. Spectator income is boosted by 20%. Okay, so if they were going to only spend $10,000, you're going to get an extra 20%, which means $38,960, $12,000. Okay, so you get $12,000. And that's from that one there, from here to, or no, that's for a chance of tokens. So you get, and where do you get these amenities from? You get them from here in the stadium. First amenity plot, okay? Receive your first one, which means you can upgrade something. Then you get here and then you need to wait. So you need to choose very carefully your first two. I wouldn't choose the money one for the first two. I would choose personally, everyone's different. I would choose either like the ambulance, so it reduces the chance of injury by 50%. And players with 100% cannot receive severe injuries. That one there. And physio, health recovery speed is increased by 5% a day. So this really, really helps you. Like your players healing and you can use them again. Especially if you don't have cards to, to use. So if we go back to, yeah, so that is how you can but at the same time the money is used mainly for upgrading your buildings and if i'm upgrading my stadium like over over here if i want to upgrade it again i wonder if i can see one of these no these are all maximum already i need only need my stadium for example here my stadium has a capacity of forty thousand, or will be that or whatever but every time you increase the size of your stadium you get more people there and you get more money Okay, and that money is useful for one buying players, or you can, yeah, just get it from the matches and things like that. But anyway, I, I was just thinking of something about the the, the the money. Another way is from the 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 market, the the what do you call it? Your watch list from the players you can buy and sell. Any players you don't need, sell them, don't delete them or anything like that. Just yeah. Selling. Have I got anything on sale at the moment? Okay, I got one. 34-year-old. Okay, what about... Oh, that was Woodward Game. What about Woodward Games? I'm just going to go check. Okay, I got a couple there, but they're old guys. Usually I'm selling some younger ones too every now and then. So yeah, so that's probably one of the best ways. What's another one? <clears throat> uh, let's go look at the banner. Um, another one. Here, here's another question from uh, from the Discord. It says, is there a way to influence who replaces who off the bench? Yes. Say the flanker gets injured and I would rather my lock jump in to replace him or something like that. You can do that. Where do you do it? You go to your squad. 
and then you go to <clears throat> uh, so you go to your squad and then you go to uh, is it this one or this one? Let's go check. This is the one. <laughs> okay, see this button down the bottom here? Oh, you can't see it. One second. Let me just hide this. Okay. So down the bottom here, you got this where my thing is. Look at that. Like my arrow, my cursor going up and down. It's the one with the three heads next to it. one of those two. It's the first one. And you've got a thing called depth chart. If we click on that, it says, oh, shit, something's opening up. Ah, oh, you go into the wiki. Okay. The depth chart governs who replaces a player if a player gets injured and is forced to come off during a match. It also plays a more limited role if you have a starting player who is injured and cannot start the match, and then this player comes in the role. Okay. And then it goes into a lot more detail here. But basically, how it works is if, if I have my, I don't know, my lock. Okay, I've got nothing set up. This is my first 15. This shows how organized I am. <laughs> If my lock comes off, I've got no one to replace him, so the match engine does it for you, or match system, or God knows what. So basically, I want to choose my this guy as my number one. I'll add another one, number four. It says prop, but he's not a prop. He's actually, just because of training, he looks like he's a prop, but he's like a big dude. He's like 2,000. Two two thousand. <laughs> he's two hundred and seven centimeters. He's like a tall dude. He's only twenty three years old. He is seasoned. Anyway, so and he says he's a prop, but he's not a prop because it's just some of the training that I've done for some reason. You can actually see here. He's close to being a number eight and a lock. He's only like a thousand points away XP, which is nothing. But anyway, he is my lock. Um, so if I go back to the lineup, no, player info. So go here, I go to lock, and I always want my number one to be Garth Smollett because he's my star player. Number two, I want Brody um, Ledgy or whatever his name is. And then I can choose someone else. It doesn't need to be from your first lineup. You can choose, for example, uh, I don't know who there is actually. <laughs> I should actually look. Okay. Well, let's go have a look. This is what I will do. I want to go height. Who's the tallest dude? Leggy Wheeler. He's 207. Whoa. Okay, I might want to put him in there. I didn't know that. And you got Watson. He's also, wow. I didn't know I had this. Okay. Thank you for asking this question. <laughs> okay, so what I could, could do, I want to go. So he's my, what is it? Wheeler body, ah, depth chart. Now it's changed to lock, so I can choose him. And then I can choose, um, I don't know, any other guy. No, I don't want my center there, probably maybe this guy, Randall Sherrington or something like that, but he's like only 47. Or maybe Watson, yeah, that'll do. And that's how you do it, you just set them up like that. Whatever players in the order. So this one's first, then this one, then this one, and this one. That's more or less how you can change the depth. For example, if I change my lineup now instead of to, for example, um, kicking maybe, or line out, line out throwing. Let's go see who's the best line out throwing. Okay, my lock's the best line out throwing. 70. Wow. Anyway, um, I want Reeve. So we go down here and go to the hooker. And, okay, this is the, oh, I don't want all of those guys there. Okay, child, those guys are low level. Okay, so I want, just as well I checked, I want Reeve because he's my number one. And then I want, oh, he's coming up. I don't want, I want Dima. He's my star player that I'm buffing. And then I want probably Lauki. And then probably, I don't want Fielder because, I, I don't want him because I always want him as a lock. I don't want him coming in at 207 centimeter lock in a proposition. Not ideal. Front row needs to be short. Um, locks need to be tall. Uh, so, and a fielder, I know is my, uh, what do you call it? My flanker. So I'll probably use this dude here. And that'll do. Okay. So you can just do it like that. So you just go through every position that you want. For example, if I want to, I don't know, a, Let's go look at kicking. Who's going to be good at kicking? 
Um, who have I got here? He's got 79. That boy, so he can change. Like, I want my fullback to have really good kicking. So I'll put him there and then him, then him, then him. Then you just – and that's how you can choose – the, the different um, for that question, which is um, this one here. Yeah, so that's the answer of this question here. So you can choose who you want to actually jump in and, yeah, do the things. The other question is, is there an inside center, outside center, blind side, open side, flank, loose head type, head props, blah, blah, blah. Um, I would say yes, even though here it just says, for example, these guys, let's just go default. This is prop, 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 and in general, their props should be a hooker, but he's just got a prop thing because of the training that I do. Much be, it might be a little bit different. Um, so yes, there are, because I remember someone saying from, from the devs or about the match or about the game itself, there is a difference between the, the number three and the number one prop. There are these differences. So there, it doesn't appear on screen, but with the match engine, there could be something here. But as everyone knows, the match engine is just this thing that no one knows what really happens. Another one is this one here. Um, is it generally better to have more of a back dominant and attacking approach or can a defensive and possessive type game plan still work? It depends on your style of play. Sometimes I I just make sure that all of the players are as, it just sounds obvious, but it's true. All of the players are as good as they can possibly be because if someone's got a strong, like my team's quite strong forwards and a good strong backs is like if one of your backs or the forwards are, are not good, they're going to get whipped. So I would pay attention to the strength and the how strong each player is anyway, just in general. I mean, I think you mentioned in the, in the comment about it being, because you're like talking about just being defensive and kicking position, you have to be very careful about kicking because sometimes the other player grabs it and they're just going to run the whole field and you can't do anything about it. So sometimes a kicking game, it uh, doesn't work the best unless you can chase it down very quickly. But again, experiment what's best for you. I personally, I think attack <laughs> is the best defense. The best defense is attacking. Make sure they don't get the ball. You just keep going and they've got don't have a chance. You don't need to defend if you're attacking. So yeah, just try and attack as much as you can. And holding on, if you really want to hold on to the ball, a lot of, um, I forgot the tactics. Let's go to squad, game plan. Uh, uh, this is an example, scrumming up. This is the one I mentioned. I just went 100% and just kicking level 100%. Oh, that one's low. Oh, I need to increase those. I thought it was more kicking. Huh. Anyway, actually, I'll just do it like that. and just increase that because this is my scrumming up. It should be like kicking the whole time. It, just for a challenge. You don't want to use this tactic in your in your actual game. Uh, but what was the question? Yeah, for example, if you go to this here, keep hold. Uh, expensive, creative. Why have I got creative so high? Damn, I don't like creative. Sorry. Uh, if you're bumping up the pick and go corner and the pick and go normal, which is pick and go close, okay, um, you're going to hold on to the ball a lot more. Then if you're creative, there's a chance you can get through and make line breaks and do no, you know, some cool play. But there's also a high possibility of losing the ball. It's like a high risk, high reward, but at the same time, high risk that you can lose the ball. So, yeah, just be careful of, yeah, the, 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 your style of players. For example, if my guys don't have good ruck or counter-rucking, I probably wouldn't use pick and go. So it all depends on your players. But personally, for me, the best thing is attacking going hard out the whole time. Um, what's another question that you left here? Um, let's have a look. Another question is, ah, here we go. This is a good one. <clears throat> uh, 
Is it risky to develop all infrastructure as soon as possible? Training hotel, youth training hospital. Are there no weekly costs? No, there aren't. Now, if we go back to here, something that um, Deliberate Zero mentioned is money in and out can be tracked in the club screen. So what you do, you go to the club screen, you go to um, the uh, finances, and it shows you how many players you've purchased and how many players you've sold. Ooh, look at that difference. I bought that and sold that. Ah, who's actually got sold? Ah, that's why it's so high. I sold Hirawa Wipo. Waikato, I think, bought him because he scored tries against me. My own player. I think he might have won the cup because of my own player. Anyway, um, yeah. So you can see the income and everything like that in the financial reports. You get this budget to start the year off. Okay, you get carry over. It goes into deep. Just click on these. It gives you more details. The the money you get from building collection and 12, 11, I don't know what that is. Um, player sales, investment income. Okay, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that's from either. But if you look at these, look how much I've spent in the academy. I spend 150000 every single day. Every single day I spend that amount. Because youth are important. Miscellaneous, why have I spent 5 million? Ah, look at this. Because since I've had shitloads of money, I went and blew $5,000 on psychology, on the cards, you know, that random deck. You got a million. I can't buy, I can't upgrade any buildings at the moment. <gasps> Coming up in the next season or two, maybe. Ooh, brilliant, brilliant. Anyway. Hopefully, hopefully. Don't know. There's something that's coming up. Um, yes, yeah, so I just got five million to spend because I sold a player worth shitloads. Like, oh, I'll just go buy some cards. A million each. Thank you very much. Um, salaries. These are salaries from contract sign. When you've got players like James Innes, he's he's the other legendary player. Um, here his salary is one million seven hundred thousand, but I've got him for the next three, four years, maybe. Five, God knows. And he's already old, so I won't need to pay his salary again. Um, so, yeah. Now, upgrading, going back to the to the question, is this one here. Is it risky to develop all up? No, definitely not, because there are no weekly costs for infrastructure. The main cost you get is probably from contracts that are about to expire. How do you know they're about to expire? You go to your squad, go to manage. He's got 219 days left on his contract. <laughs> like, yeah, he's got a lot of days. I can have him for ages. What about my number? Was it? He's got 200 days too. So he's basically 31. I'm going to keep him until he's like 35, 6, and then I'll just burn him at the stake or something. Don't know what I'll do with him. Um, oops. So if we go back to, so yeah, so this is where, this is the main cost that you occasionally get for playing for player contracts. And it's not all of the players, it's only the top 10 players plus star players or a mix. Or if you've got 10 star players, it'll be 10 star players you'll be paying contracts for, and they're not cheap. But you just go ahead and upgrade your, what do you call it? Go ahead and upgrade your things as quickly as possible because there's no weekly cost or anything like that. The problem is having the money to upgrade it. That is the biggest problem because you're just trying to get the money to upgrade. And not only that, you can only upgrade to a certain point. Like in the first four, like from level one to four, you can only upgrade to like tier seven or something like that from memory, seven or eight, I can't remember. But like for the first, like when you're level one, two, three, and four, or five, I can't remember, you can only upgrade to certain points. So you have to wait anyway. So you just upgrade everything as maximum until you change to the next level or division, more or less. And then you can upgrade more. But there's no penalty. And it's convenient to upgrade as quickly as possible. That's, what I, that's why I spend my tokens at the beginning, to quickly advance as much as possible. Um, so if we go back to Woodward Saints, because I'm sure his game has already finished. Okay, I lost the game, whatever. 
I mean, it really does not matter at all. So, um, so let's go to this one here, get rid of that. So yeah, upgrade. And also you get rewards sometimes from, look, I just got $12,400. Woohoo, let's go to the pub. So you can just do this. You get some, ah, where do you get that from though? And so I've got a little bit more. I was in negatives actually. You can be in negatives. Doesn't matter that much. Um, and if we go, I just want to do another ladder match. See, I lost that one. Next. And I don't even watch. I just look at the result. Oh, I lost. I won. Whatever. Look, I'm down. Ah, here it is. I'm down to 13. So I'm going to go have to buy some more soon because I'll probably run out of cards in three or four days. So here it is. And I'll put my youth in. Scrum up. Yeah. Uh, no, I want to go. Was it expensive? That's what I want because I'm trying to do it. A union challenge event. So from here, uh, what was that? What other questions have we got? Um, yeah, so that was we've just answered that. Go for it. And the other one is here's another thing. Does anyone else seem to find themselves shouting at players going into contact isolated on their own? Oh no. <laughs> Run back to your pack and retain possession, idiots. That's a nice way of saying, get your ass back, you stupid. <laughs> um, I was very surprised the first day I saw a club with negative. I've, I've been going to negatives quite a bit because mainly my contracts are like one million, one and a half million just because of the level, like star players. And it's like, because when I upgrade them, I don't, Try and lower the amount I have to pay. I my emphasis, something that I learned from Wandering Sailors with another top team. Unfortunately, not with us right now. Um, you see, like, you know, just extend the contract time. So you don't need to renew every 50 days, renew it every 200 days. So in the end, you end up paying less. So you just pay one big amount the first time, and then it takes a lot longer. But we'll talk more about contracts of the players and everything like that later i've been yes i've been into negatives a number of times <laughs> lately but especially with the woodward saints if i could i'd go into more negative um but it's just because your player contracts yeah. what else we got there ah, so does anyone else seem to find themselves shouting at players going into contact i love i do that all the time you think you stupid yeah <laughs> here it is you stupid <laughs> uh, along those lines um okay so i still haven't done my daily whatever it is so if we look at woodward saints here um go to the academy what's he got a uh, one lock and a two fullback my level the level of my team is level 30 i would not waste I will not use these for my any youth that come out of my things. I will not use it for any youth that come out. I would either have for a level 30 team, sometimes a five energy card, but most of the time it'll be a, a for example, I've got one more. He's a center. So if I go here and I want to put a daily card on a fullback, oh, no, it needs to be minimum five, preferably, like here, if I look for centers, we'll go to center, I could use a level five, but I've got like 10 academy cards for center. Now, normally the epic cards I save for the star players, but when you've got loads like this, I'm like, yeah, I'll just use it. Okay, and ready, boom. Now he's ready to, um, to be promoted. Um, I don't know if I want to promote them right now because we're at the end of the season. I like promoting them probably at the beginning. Oh, no. For this one here, I'll wait till the beginning of the season or something like that just because later when I want to sell him, because like if he's, when he's like 34 or 5 years old, I might sell him. And when I sell him, he's going to change his age on day 24 12 years from now, whatever it is, or was it 20 years or so? I don't know, whenever, whenever it is, 15 years from now, um, he 
would change his birthday would be the 24th of the season. So what I do is I usually wait for the beginning of the season, like the second, third or fourth for like good players. And then I, what do I do is I can sell them when they're older and like just before they change age, because when they change from age 34 to 35, they drop down their stats. So I want them to buy the players before they their stats drop. <laughs> this is like a, a, yeah, like a serious evil, evil, evil laugh. Now, so we're, okay, this is, this is a good, this is a, this is a good question. Where are these questions coming from? I invented them. <laughs> I pretended that someone was interested in knowing all of these things. That's my sad life. I spent the whole day finding these questions. No, these are on the Blackout uh, Rugby Discord. Um, it's, yeah, if you go to the official, probably on the official app site or the Steam site or God knows where else, or if, uh, I don't know, Jay or Deliberate Zero wants to, or someone wants to put a link in the description or the comments later or something like that, I'll accept it. But anyway, um, yeah, it's on the Discord. All of these questions, someone actually asked these questions on the Discord, and I, I just, like, said, oh, I can't be bothered typing, and I'll just answer them here. If you want to watch it, cool. If not, whatever. But I know it's going to help. If this person's got questions, it's going to help a lot of questions. Also, while we're live, you're welcome to ask questions in the chat. And I can, I just, all of these questions I answered off the top of my head. I'm like, oh, I don't know, just from what I know. So if, you have, if anyone has any questions while I'm live, chuck them in the chat. If you're watching this later when it's not live, just chuck them in, in the comments and I'll probably, I can use them next time. Okay. Any questions whatsoever? No question is so stupid that, no, there's someone... Everyone begins from somewhere. Everyone, even the experts, were once absolute beginners. Ah, oh, that sounded good. Anyway, <laughs> but those, I think, uh, those are all of the questions that I that I have for now. Let me have a look. Um, yeah, so apart from shouting at players, infrastructure, everything like that, um, yeah, let's just, where did I, how do I hide that one? There it is. Yes, yeah, so I've got this new thing where I can put the comments on screen now. Screen now, you may have noticed that. More people have come along next time. Be awesome. So, yeah, so if you look at the thing down the bottom, uh, thanks to today's sponsor, Unicorn Rugby Whistle. Whistles, if you heard one, you've heard them all. <laughs> I know, terrible things like that. So, yeah, always chat, pay attention to what's down the bottom there. <laughs> Random thing. Latest, and we've just had the latest rugby results in Crayon RFC versus Pencil RFC. Yes, it's been confirmed. It's ended in a draw. <laughs> Don't worry. They get worse. They get worse as the night goes on. Anyway, I will, I think I'll leave it like that. I've got to do some other, I've actually got to go check out my, I can actually do all of these things here. For example, okay, psychology. What's my plan of attack? I'm going to open up my psychology thing. And I've got one form and one composure. Yeah, whatever. Go to squad. Go to the lineup. Go here. And then I'll go to form. Scroll down the bottom. And I'll see which of my S players. I've actually got two S players, starting players. that have only got two form. I always like them to be at least three. And which one do I want? I've got my number 10, I probably want. Oh, I've got my two locks are pretty sucky at the moment. Um, so I probably want to give it to, uh, I don't want my locks to be too bad. So I'll probably go give, I don't know. He's not doing any kicking, so, oh, God, what do I do here? I'll just go Santos. He's 23. Let's go give him a bit more. Play that daily. Player form. This is just, just this just goes to show how much I win. It's like this one and this one, and there's no logic. I just like going by, by, by the feel or whatever it is. And I've also I had another composure one. He's young. So what I can do is go to composure. Um, what else we got? Uh, 
composure. And I know I never spend composure on anyone that's under 50 because they're going to increase always. But when they get to like 53 or 54 or 55, they will not improve. It doesn't matter how many games they play. So here, the only way they improve is throwing composure cards at them. So if you get any composure cards, use them on the guys that are higher level that are not going to improve by themselves. So Gaita is 27. He's 55. He's going to disappear soon because I've got some other better players. He's a fly half. He's a he's seasoned already. I probably want to, he's a fly half, so he's going to need need it for his kicking and everything like that, and passing and all that other stuff. So I want to increase his composure. It's only one, like he's maxed in composure. So I'll go do that one there. So that's what I do with the composure cards like that. Um, slick stream layer, and I did see that scrolling tears. I knew I knew you were very observant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I got other random things I can put there too. Um, yeah, but the best thing about this is because I'm, I'm I'm actually going to be using it more for Woodward English, which is our other YouTube channel. Um, if you want to actually learn something <laughs> instead of me just winging it all the time, um, I can actually have interviews with people. I can even hear like YouTube channel uh, for for example Woodward Games. I could interview like some other you um what is it like blackout player like who's whoever's like wants to join in we can talk about the different tactics look at the team go for advice and talk about whatever we can have up to nine people including myself there's like 10 people you can have at once which would probably get a mess you probably want to do that but you can have two and they'll end up being down the down the side over here and I've got some other things where you can you can just do cool things like then ne we're next to each other and all of yeah you can just do all types all types of cool things yeah I mean it is something I do pay for but it's like whatever I I it's the Woodward English side of thing that benefits but I'm just using it for Woodward Games because it's <laughs> it's like the the the, the smelly brother of <laughs> my other YouTube channel <laughs> this is where I come to relax and get release all of my my daily stress and God knows what by bullying anyone that comes into the chat <laughs> and my own players too. Anyway, so yeah, so I can add all of these different things in there. I can, I can do all types of things, but you haven't seen all of the things. And right now, by the way, if you were watching this live on Twitter, it's also live on Twitter right now, you can actually, if you want your comments to appear on screen, like, um like this one here or like well there are good questions it's been great to hear the answers i'm glad glad it could help in some way um it can only do it if you're on youtube your comments if i ever one day stream on facebook which i don't think i will but anyway the facebook comments or on linkedin i don't think i'll be doing this on linkedin or on twitch but i don't like twitch uh, yeah i tried that it's like eh. So, yeah, but I can do it on different, I can multiple places at the same time. And there are some other goodies things too. Like, for example, I can do a, um, like a type of prize thing. Like everyone like just puts a hashtag in the comments and it chooses from everyone that put the hashtag in the comments and it chooses a winner and they get God knows what prize. For example, I have... A smelly sock or something floating around. So I got this here. Look at this. This, okay, this is going to be the prize today. <laughs> this is a unicorn farted. <laughs> and this is this is what happened. <laughs> it was quite explosive. It scares you at first, but oh, the results, how pleasant. <laughs> Have you guys seen that video about unicorn ice cream, like, pooing like ice cream it's actually a cool video it's about you know look for it unicorn ice cream poop or something like that you yeah, probably be traumatized forever and yeah so that's what i've done for woodward saints if you want to, i'm going to go do it again over here because i'm going to be doing this anyway so i might as well do it on the stream you can see exactly what i do so look at this level one oh three composure Woodward Games is currently the better team. <laughs> I'm scared of searching something like that. 
<laughs> Seriously, it's actually funny. It's called unicorn poop ice cream or I don't know. I don't know what it is if you search for it. It's funny. It's like, I don't know from how long ago, from the 80s or 90s or something. It's like a satire of commercial. Ah, no. It's like they're selling some type of potty thing where you put your legs up while you're on the toilet so you can poop better. And they use a unicorn as an example. It's, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's very well done. It's a viral advertisement. And you can tell why. The problem is, over the next three months, all of your searches are going to be associated with unicorns, <laughs> with poop, or something to do with the toilet. Um, what did I get? I had a form and a composure. So what do I do? Go to form, scroll down the bottom. Anyone down here? Oh, he's like level. Yeah, he's. Oh, you probably can't see it. So you go down here, and I'll click on. I'll just increase his form. Just to make sure he's getting old now. He's 34 years old. Old for the game. Not old. In, I'm way older than him in real life. Um, form. Play the psych card. And I'll just increase it to level three. I always like them to have them minimum level three. At the level two sometimes. Like, yeah. But if I'm going into finals and things like that. Is. And the other one was composure. So we'll go to composure. And I want to go up to one of these guys. And I probably want to do one of the guys that are quite, this guy here, 30. Ooh, Vicona, but he's oldish. So I don't, I don't want to waste it on, ooh, Watson, 21 years old. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to use it on this guy. Because he's one of my youth guys and he's in development. He's not a prop. He's going to be one of my locks. Um, but yeah, he's going to, if I don't do anything, he's going to stay with Composure 59. So I want to increase that. And this is a good card because it increases by three. Thank you very much. Now he's up to 62. Awesome. Anyone who says unicorns aren't manly have never tried to wrestle. <laughs> I know. I've actually got a scar. If you have a look over <laughs> from my unicorn wrestling days. They're bloody vicious beasts. They're like, everyone thinks they're cute. If you're not like a virginal maiden, they're bloody beastie hideous things they'll bloody gnaw your nuts off they're bloody horrible <sighs> anyway so i've done that one here and i've got some training i'll go show you my woodward saints what i do for training um go click the cards got loads i've always got an epic one now every single time and i focus oh, okay that's a shitty one catching hmm okay so what do you do go to the squad wrestling unicorns that would hurt seriously that would hurt wrestling unicorns because i could just imagine like the bony legs and they're like and then you got the oh no you don't want the horn there okay training i usually go to physical first now i've got lots of different things here i'll explain them another day i'm just experimenting but at the moment i have all of my team Woodward Saints, for example, in the all-rounder regime, which means they're training one skill of everything. I'm not ignoring any attributes because they're like, they were a little bit buff in certain areas. For example, if I click on Lorenzo, no, he's too young. Lavin. Oh, no, he's pretty good. <laughs> so if I go to some of them down here, maybe. Oh, look at this one. This is a good one. Leonardo Capitan, Capitanio. He's like awesome in power, awesome in endurance, awesome strength, but he's quite shitty in co coordination, agility, acceleration, and speed. And I noticed like, hmm, he still gets beaten in certain areas. And I was pumping up these just to make him really powerful in those things. And I thought, no, I need... Originally, my pl players were more rounded. They were more good in most skills in general like some of these players they're a bit more rounded except for strength that needs to increase more it's a bit more rounded which means good in all of the skills even though he doesn't really need power or endurance they still help a lot yeah so that's what i started going into this type of training for them to balance them out a little more just to make them more balanced 
And then later I'll think about how to train them all again. But at the moment I'm trying to get up those other, other schools. So just click on there, leave it there, it's fine. And run the training. And let's see what happens. And they all increase, thank you very much. Like this guy, I don't know why he decreased because maybe, ah, this because he was already maxed at 99. And since I'm not training him, he's like dropping down from, from 10,400, uh, 500 points to 10,400 points, which he's still at level 99. So it doesn't matter. But at the same time, he's gaining another skill. So it's like, yeah, because I need him to gain. Because before, he wouldn't train in, for example, speed or coordination or acceleration because I was pumping up his power to like extreme levels. That's why those numbers are low. But now I'm trying to increase those numbers to make it more rounded and better on the field in general. <clears throat> so that's what I'm doing right now. And technical... At the moment, for some, ah, I've got forwards. They're all as forwards here. I just tuck them all in the forwards, but I usually divide them between forwards and backs. Yeah, forwards or backs. But here I've got them all together because I had an epic tackling, epic counter rucking. I could probably do the same thing now. Um, defender, let's go see. Now these here, you're wondering, where are these coming from? I will never use that card there because it's too low, but I'm just using these for saving. If I've got any extra energy at the end, I try and put it down here. Okay, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to save that catching. I'll just put it somewhere else. But look at this. Uh, kicking. Ball protector. Okay. <laughs> Ball protector. <laughs> um, got five in counter racking. More. Okay, I'm just going to do it the simple way, just so that you can see. I try and use epics as much as possible for the training, especially at this level. So you just go here. I'm just going to leave them all in here. Tackling. So what I wanted to make sure, that tackling is always the epic. Um, so we'll go to tackling. Grab an epic. There we go. And the other ones are counter-rucking and rucking. I, I'll end up putting a epic anyway but if i want i can put like a counter rucking and a rucking okay five and five but normally i'll put the epics in there so we'll go to epics uh counter rucking good got one and what is it rucking yeah still got four not bad so maybe if i don't have any more rocking epic rucking epics i'll use my tokens to buy us another health deck, whatever they are. You activate it. Got to make sure there's no one that's free. Now, I could pull out my youth, but I'm not going to do it this season. So you just run that. Ready. Now, I do have an epic catching that I haven't used from today. I will save that. I'll put it somewhere else. See, look at this. They're increased quite a lot. Nice, nice. Thank you very much. And so what I want to do before I forget um here i'll put it it's not a defender card but i'll just put it in there anyway so that's what i normally oh shit there's a five one there too oh i'll just chuck that there that five one i'll probably do want to keep let's go see if there's any useless cards here uh, nope that level four one's probably not good uh, i saw a level two one somewhere so i'll get rid of that or what i do is I get rid of this blue king card I'll chuck the catching in so I don't lose any energy whatsoever. Sometimes what I do, if I do have a extra energy, I've got 23 energy to use, I'll use it to fill one of these spaces with some other card. I can. It's just a way of like managing energy. I can go into more detail about that another time. So don't just ignore my madness. And then the final thing that I do at the end of the day, or end of the, yeah, basically the end of the day, we go to the grounds. <clears throat> and then we go to the stadium. We just click on the stadium, see what the cards are, and it removes all effects from wet weather. Man. And at this time of year, we've only got like, I've only got like, a, what is it like? A, I've got this match here, which is a, a semi final. And I don't have any other matches. So it's like, normally at the beginning of the season, I can store a lot of cards that i might need later but now it's just like is it going to be raining at all heavy rain i mean yeah i could chuck that in there that'd be cool okay 
that's going to help. I want to use that one. I won't use that one. So we'll see. So later on, I'll oh, make sure I change that. I'll just put a uh, ladder challenge maybe for now, just to be safe in case I forget. And that's what I do with, uh, what do you call it? That's what I do with the, that's basically my day. If I have energy left over, I'll probably save it in the training cards or matches in the future. Or what I'll do, for example, probably now, I don't know if it's, I haven't done a fixture. No, I've got no fixture. Oh, I've got to see what happened there. What did I get? Okay, I lost, whatever. That's why many times you think, oh, I'm be I'm beating everyone in the, in the, what do you call it? In the ladder match, it's only because most of the time everyone has <laughs> youth teams as defense or something. So I'll do one more here, which we won't. Ah, oh, this is Woodward Saints. Daily cards? Nope. Use another one. And then what I do sometimes, I've got you loads of cards here. So what I'll do is I'll just put, I know, this and this and just to use them because the energy is just going to waste anyway so it makes no difference makes no difference at all and i want to do expensive pure oh and youth just about forgot la paz locos la paz is the capital of bolivia and locos is crazy so could be true so that is what um yeah so this is uh, what I thought I'd start doing because I've got lots of new members. I thought I saw some questions, nobody really answered, so I'll answer them on stream. I would like to do this more frequently, answering any questions and talking about different tactics or different things in general. Uh, but then again, sort of busy. I'd like to make it more frequently, maybe once a week or two weeks. We will see. I still got to organize my time and everything like that. I may also do it earlier in the morning, New Zealand time, so that people in Europe can do watch in the evening. I need to see what is more popular. So if you're watching this later, let me know what's the best time for you. This time, like New Zealand night, Europe morning, or Europe night, New Zealand morning. I don't mind. I can do either. Okay. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found this useful if you do have any questions or anything like that leave them in the comments or check them in the blackout discord the official blackout discord leave them there and i'll see them and answer them to the best of my knowledge well however often this ends up being this was fun to see thanks a lot um uh, jack really appreciate it thank you so much for joining in and until next time Whenever that is, <laughs> hopefully maybe next week. Depends when I get some free time. Same time, maybe. Same day, who knows. <laughs> the same channel. Indulge and enjoy.